Uh, this is Paul, yes. <laughs> now, I, I want to give you some more examples of various kinds of spray that are available. Yes. There was a, a General Philip Breedlove. Yeah. They like to use sparkles. Yes. Now, sparkles were a special type of spray that would, uh, would kind of aerosol the area. Yes. But it was a nanotechnology because they had to know. Oh. <laughs> And then there was that uh, perfume, you know, pink? Yes. In the Central Intelligence Agency? Yes. <laughs> you know, quite often when the dogs get upset, they think, well, we better spray them so as to calm everybody down because we don't want you being upset. Hmm. The domestication of a population that might get concerned about being sprayed on. Oh. <laughs> I noticed that numerous times it would smell like flowers when it shouldn't. Yes. And then there was um, spores. Now, if you could call the Queen of England for me. Yes. <laughs> Some Sometimes when there's a concern about lawsuits and <laughs> possibility of imprisonment of a large number of oaths of office, <laughs> they think, well, I'll call a private contractor and load up their, their barrels. Yes. <laughs> and we'll just spray as if it was Corxit, but it's, uh, it's really kind of a mold. Oh! <laughs> They sprayed spores before, yes. And then there's a question of the actual canopy. Yes. Now, if you would call retired General Schwartz, he might remember when there was the use of pulverized aluminum and a couple other products. Yes. So as to, well, supposedly weather engineer. Now, I did look at the news last night. Yes. I understand it's very hot on the East Coast. Yeah. And you're having a little flooding problem in kind of the central part of the United States. Yes. <laughs> then we have drought conditions over here. Yeah. <laughs> Could you get me the actual planes that were used to spray corksets on the oil? Yeah. <laughs> and some of those stingers on the back of Air Force. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about uh, that plane graveyard. Yes. <laughs> Could you get me the locations of all the no longer operational airplanes where if you need a spare part, yeah. <laughs> See, they take a lot of time and I had wanted to smelter up all these old planes that we're no longer using because I know we can manufacture <laughs> new parts for old planes, <laughs> but we've been keeping thousands of planes in the plane graveyard right now, okay. <laughs> now, somebody sprayed <laughs> What I would guesstimate, considering the effect on my mind and my nervous system. Yes. Well, it's it's kind of a, well, let's feel good and let's not get upset, okay? But we need to know what you're thinking. Yes, we do. And then there's this flooding concern and the heat wave of the East Coast. And they thought, well, we'll use some private contractors today.